Okay, bird house project, here we go. Before you start hammering, make sure that you have some eye protection on, please, please, please. And uh, our first step here is to have our two side pieces and our bottom piece. And I like to go ahead and just put them so I can see how they all go together, so it all makes sense, and then lay them flat. Okay, so we're gonna start with the side piece, and I put it right on top of my bottom piece there so it's lifted off the table. And you'll see two tiny little holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap my nail so gently, be careful of your fingers, into the first hole. And I just keep checking to make sure I don't go too far in. I'd like to hammer these nails until I can just kind of see the bottom of the nail, just like that. After you nail in the first nail, go ahead and look for the second hole and tap that one into place. So the secret to using a hammer and nail is just to use two fingers and pinch the bottom of the nail and tap so lightly. Keep your fingers out of the way of your hammer. Okay, now get your second side and that board also has two tiny holes in it and tap in both your nails. So by the time you're done with this step, you should have two nails in one sideboard and two nails in the other sideboard. Then comes the tricky part. Okay, so once your nails are in, go ahead and place your boards the way I have here. So you have the bottom, side, side, I can see all the stickers and my two nails are in each board, and I'm ready to go. I'm also gonna go ahead and get my wood glue ready. Wood glue is a special glue that we use for wood, and I'm gonna start by taking the bottom and just using my brush and painting on a, a, a layer of wood glue. Take your time, no rush. Uh, you wanna be careful with drips because uh, wood glue is pretty permanent. And when you're all done, set your brush aside. And I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom piece so it's standing up with the wood glue facing me. And I take my side piece and I lay it on top, just like you're seeing, look very closely. You're gonna want a grown up for this part to help hold the boards together while you tap the nails in place. If these pieces don't look like they go together, then you didn't do it right. It should be a perfect match. Okay, just tap them in very gently. Have your grown-up help you. Take your time. Tap in the second nail here. Okay, don't get frustrated. That's the biggest thing about working with wood is just go slow, you'll get it. And when you're all done, make sure to wipe up any of those drips. I have an art towel here, you could use a paper towel or whatever. And um, if you need to take a little break here, set it aside. And if not, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. Now the first thing we're gonna do is paint the glue on. Every single time we're getting ready to hammer two pieces of wood together for this project, we're gonna go ahead and put a layer of wood glue on. And then we hammer it on. The wood glue just makes it extra strong. And we want our birdhouse to be super strong so we can use it outside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the other side board, make sure my sticker is facing inside the birdhouse, and place it on top. Again, please have an adult with you when you're doing this and just be really careful and mindful of your fingers. And just slightly tap. It's okay that you tap the nail more than once or twice. You should tap it as many times as it takes to get in. And when you're all done, use your towel, wipe up drips, and congratulations. This was the hardest part of the whole project. I'm so proud of you. You can see that you have your bottom and your two sides attached. Uh, I stopped here and left mine to dry for a little bit and just took a little break. All right, coming back to the project, I'm going to now get the front and the back of my birdhouses. And these are also labeled with stickers, which is really great. Um, go ahead and get some nails ready. And if you look really carefully at these pieces, you'll see that these have more holes than the other pieces. These have six holes each. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip over my first one. So I'm nailing on the side 
that does not have the sticker. And okay, so we want to tap these nails in, but they don't have to be tapped in as far as we did on the first set of pieces. You can just kind of give them a one, two, three, quick tap. I just really want the nails to be in the wood. Uh, that makes it a lot easier when we're attaching it. But like I said before, the hardest part is behind us. This part is going to be a breeze compared to the last part of the project. So one, two, three, four, five, six nails in this piece. Again, they don't have to be all the way through. Make sure a grown ups there. Make sure you're protecting your eyes and being safe. Once you have all your nails in, it's time to go back to the bottom piece that we've already created. And before I get out the glue or anything, I like to just sort of figure out and visualize and place the wood where I want it to go. And this is gonna be the very front of our birdhouse. Look closely at what I have so you can kind of make sure yours matches. When I have it the way I like it, I'm going to put a layer of wood glue down on the wood. For this project, every time we attach two pieces of wood together, we will put the wood glue down first. Don't rush it, try to be careful, try not to drip it. Just take your time. And it's best, by the way, not to leave the wood glue in the, in the brush just laying out to dry, like I did right there. Don't leave it to dry too long or it'll, it'll wreck the brush. For a few minutes, it's fine. Then I'm going to place this up here Make sure it's a nice, even match. Make sure your grown-up is there to help you. And I'm going to tap these nails, these six nails, down into the bottom piece and into the side pieces. If you want to double check and make sure you're doing it correctly, you should not see any stickers on the outside of your birdhouse. All the stickers should be facing inside. Perfect. This is looking great so far. So I'm gonna finish up hammering in this six nails, double check them all, make sure that they're not hanging out so you won't snag yourself on them. Wipe off any extra wood glue. Again, just go slow, take your time. One step at a time is how we're gonna get through this project. This is hard. This is not an easy project, but I believe that you guys can do it. And it's gonna be worth it when we're all done and we have these amazing birdhouses. Okay, moving on, we're now going to work on the front of the birdhouse. Um, the front has the hole in it, and we are going to make sure that we're hammering our nails into the side without a sticker. And we're gonna go ahead, just like last time, we're gonna hammer in the six nails, and there are pre-drilled holes in the wood, so you're not making up where to put your nails. Look for that tiny hole, tap it in. We do not have to be hammered in that deep for this part of the project. Just a light tap will really work. Um, hopefully by this time you guys are getting pretty good at hammering. And at any point, if you want to take a break, this project can take more than one day. That is fine. Now, before you put any glue down, you want to just make sure that it lines up. You know where you're gluing. And then we can use our brush and our wood glue to go ahead and put a layer down. We use wood glue and uh, for wood, we use uh, white glue for arts and crafts and paper. We use hot glue for certain things. We use glue stick for, uh, glue stick is just great paper to paper, but different glues for different things. And for this project, we're using wood glue. Go ahead and line it up. You guys should be really good because this is exactly like the last step when we put the back of the birdhouse on. Uh, we line it up and now we're just going to tap in the six nails so we will have a nice front of our birdhouse. This is looking great so far. Please make sure your parents are there helping you. Don't try this alone, not yet. If you like working with wood, there are so many kid-friendly woodworking projects that you can do at home with a parent or an adult, but you always wanna make sure that you're being safe and you always wanna make sure when you're using tools that you have an adult helping you and supporting you. Okay, so I've tapped in all six nails. I'm wiping off all the glue, just giving a good double check of my birdhouse. 
and I think it looks really good. All my stickers are on the inside and I'm missing one thing. I am missing the roof. So let's go ahead and get out our roof pieces and get ready for this part of the project. The first thing you'll notice is that the roof pieces aren't the same. One has a star and one doesn't. We're gonna start with the roof piece that does not have a star. It's a little bit smaller and we're gonna find the pre-drilled holes and we're gonna go ahead and tap in our nails just like we were for the front and back of the birdhouse. They do not have to be in very far. They just wanna be tapped in to make it easier when we're attaching the wood. This small piece has four nails. I'm gonna go ahead and get my bigger roof with the star, the bigger piece. The bigger piece has six nails. It has three on each side and you can see those tiny little holes. Always look for the holes. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap in those six nails very carefully. Take your time. I'm sure you're getting pretty good at it. Maybe even getting a nice muscle on your hammer, hammer arm there. Um, if you ever want to practice hammering, it's a great idea just to take a piece of wood and a bunch of nails and just kind of hammer to get good at hammering. It's a great exercise for kids and it's a lot of fun. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my smaller roof piece with the four nails. I'm going to make sure my sticker is facing the inside of the birdhouse. I shouldn't see any stickers on the outside of my birdhouse. This one's tricky. I gotta line it up so that when my nails go through, they're gonna actually hit the frame of the birdhouse. I can just kind of check it with my eyes, make sure you have an adult close by to, to help you sort of line it up and hold the roof. Once again, getting out my wood glue, putting a thin layer of wood glue, only where I need it. You don't wanna glue ahead for this project. You just wanna glue where you need it, where you're getting ready to attach the wood pieces together. So I'm gonna put this away. Always smart to put a cap on. I don't always remember, but okay. Let me go ahead and line this up again. You really wanna make sure it's lined up for this part of the project. And then I am going to tap it in. Um, you definitely wanna make sure your parent is there either holding the roof for you or um, or helping you stabilize the project so you can hammer it in safely. Okay, so I found it a little easier to hammer in the top nails first and then move to the bottom ones. It was kind of like once I got the top ones nailed in, I didn't even really have to hold the roof quite as much anymore. And you can always rotate the birdhouse so it's a little bit more comfortable. You don't have to keep it in the same spot. You can move your whole project so that it's comfortable and so that you can reach spots in the right way. And so now you've got a birdhouse with half a roof. If you want to reach your hand in and take the stickers off at this point, it's probably your best bet. I don't know how you're going to get them off otherwise. Uh, but because I want to make a point, I'm going to leave mine on just to say that all the stickers need to be on the inside of the birdhouse. So I have my big piece, my roof star piece with six nails. I lined it up, I know where it's going. I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna wood glue all of the places that I'm attaching this, including the roof piece, uh, which I'm doing right now. Go ahead and glue um, not just the front and back of the house, but also the roof. So all three sides are glued and ready to go. Now the weird thing about this uh, roof star, the bigger roof piece, is that um, it has three nails. So when I flip it, you're gonna see that the two of the nails are a little closer together. And you wanna make sure that that's at the top. You see that? Kind of the two that are closer together is pointing up. That way the top nail should go into the roof piece and the two bottom nails will go into the front and back of the house. And that should give you an extra strong roof to make sure that it's super strong. And it is best to go ahead and tap those two top nails in first and then work your way down just so that you don't have to hold on to the roof. And then, voila, your birdhouse is complete. At least step one, which is building the birdhouse. 